Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Android Coliseum. Here to do my review on the LG G6. This is the brand new version uh, from LG. And I gotta say, probably the best uh, G device that they've released out to date. And I don't even say I top out from the, the V devices, the V10, V20. I've only ever tried the V20, so but. Anyways, let's go around. Um, it feels like a unibody, but it's not a unibody, obviously. It has a little bit, I guess that's a glass or aluminum backing. It really is a bit of a grease magnet there, but oh well, I don't, I don't really look at the back of my device, who cares about what it looks like in the back. Um, the front, as you can notice, has just that tiniest tall display, and we'll get to that more of that later. Uh, it still has a headphone jack, if those of you want to use that. Um, speakers on the bottom, which are really nice speakers. Uh, the fingerprint sensor, which works like 95, if not more, percent of the time, it works super well. I gotta say, the uh, knock code works really well. Um, and I can do it fast and it won't, uh, you know, won't have any issues. And the other ones I used to have to really, you know, make sure I, you know, really properly tapped it out. Uh, this, never, never much of an issue. So the cameras are both 13 megapixel, whereas last year when one was a 16, one was an 8, and you're kind of, all right issues when they're not the same well now they're the same this year they're slightly lower but i mean still it does a pretty good camera i can't complain about that the front is a five megapixel and that is not that hot i wish it would that would be better but that's how often i'm using my selfie camera not me at least i'm not i don't use it much but really the device itself feels solid feels great it's ip68 so i know i can um take it out in the rain a little bit and not have to worry about it. Uh, it has the military 810 standard, so it, I can feel a little more secure not ever putting it in a, a case because I hate cases. And best of all about this, the new device is that it comes with the QI charging and PMA charging, so I can just plop it into these little chargers and work no problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, absolutely amazing device. Super fast, super responsive. Um... Uh, it's been it's been quite well on it. Uh, I had to get rid of the, the keyboard. I really had to get rid of the LG G keyboard. It really doesn't wasn't working well for me. I put a put G board on it. I um, I'm not a big fan of this launcher that they have just because of the all the apps I don't use every day all the day. I have to find a way to sort them. I feel like I'm back in iOS. So I wish there was they had done something better for that. Yeah, you can still install their uh, previous version of the UX and then, because I put, I mean, for that point, I might as well just put a pixel launcher on it or something. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this is, it's, the battery life has been phenomenal. Um, the performance has been great out of it. Uh, the, the tall screen feature, the only time I've ever really seen notice a problem with the tall screen feature with the wrong rate, the different ratio is... On Pokemon Go, you'll see this little strip down below. It'll load up, and there's this little weird thing going on there. I don't know what's going on there, but whatever. Otherwise, most things work the same. Now, now watch this. I have the curved edges, which is kind of cool. I mean, if you like that kind of thing, I don't, I, I don't notice it anymore. You probably can't tell, but there's actually some blackness being showed there and there. Not a lot. But if I bring it down, you can see that there's still some areas that are, that are, that are that it's drawing black for. So what you do is you have this little button. Oops, now I don't want to buy anything. You hit this little button here, and you can change the app scaling ratio. So is it compatible? So let it reload itself. And now it's got, it's just showing just in that uh, 16 by 9 ratio. A little bit. Oops. And I can change it to standard. I think it cuts a little bit of it off when we do it this mode. No, not really noticing too much of a difference. I think this is what I had on it there. So. Oh, look at that. That, that is going for him. So it is. Drawing all that way. Anyways, 
you don't notice it after a while. It really kind of goes away and just like widescreen when it first came out for us, it really kind of goes away. Um, outside of that, it is a bit taller, so you do have to kind of get used to stretching your your thumbs when you use your device. But that, I really like it. The display is great, so if you do, and you did get the updates that if you do watch Netflix, um, anything that's in HDR, what was that? HDR or Dolby? Uh, so something that's, um, oh, I don't know if I can show something from Netflix here on the screen, but it is this Dolby Vision, so I can watch an episode. And it is going to give us a Dolby Vision's display. And you can notice that it has a little option there to play around with Dolby Vivid mode. Now, I tried to take some video for this, but again, I can't really record it because it um, doesn't like that one on Netflix for some reason. I'm taking screenshots, obviously. So, anyways. Absolutely a phenomenal device. I really recommend it wholeheartedly. Um, LG uh, should be very happy with themselves in the way that it's uh, it's officially worked. It's been doing quite well. It performs admirably. It has great battery life. It has the wireless charging I've always wanted to have. Uh, rapid charging for you with USB-C. It really brings the device back up really quickly. Um, with very little issue. I mean, I miss my infrared port for watching TV. But I get by pretty quickly when I know I have a bunch of other features that have been added in. Okay, so I'll have a full review on the website for you to take a look at. Um, talk more about the camera features and stuff like that you can get out of it. Uh, not much really is super new compared to the other devices, except that they have that whole square feature. I mean, really, that's not that innovative or whatever. But you can take a square shot. And then you want to compare it to the next shot. Is it any better? Did I do any better than this shot, the next one? I don't know. It's it's weird. You can do things like ooh, food shots. Um, anyways, you there's things you can play around with. And you can... Oops. Uh, anyways. Stuff to play around with. Okay. Full review on the website. Go watch it. Uh, read it through it, tell me what you think. Uh, I really got to stop doing these videos at like one o'clock in the morning and I can start making more sense. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching. Check you later.